Hey everyone, today I am going to give a short tutorial on how to overlay any window from your desktop into the VR environment. So first of all, I want to give a shout out to the guy who made this. His name is uh, Hotrian, or at least that's his Reddit username, and the program is called OpenVR Desktop Display Portal. And I'm going to put a link to it in the description, as well as a link to the Reddit post this guy made that has a lot of useful information. So this is a program where you can take any window on your computer and you can overlay it into VR. As you can see, I'm in Elite Dangerous right now. I'm making a long 22,000 light year journey to Jack's station as part of a community goal that's going on and it's kind of monotonous. So I have been watching this show Battlestar Galactica on my dashboard within VR. And um, basically the way this program works is you select a window here, uh, just any window on your computer. It can be a browser window, it can be VLC, it can be a um, notepad, or you know you can like look at Twitch chat, or you can look at YouTube video, or Netflix, or uh, pretty much anything you want, as long as you have it open in a window on your computer. So you select the window, I have VLC selected, and then you can either anchor it to the world in your game. So if I move my headset here, you see it stays where it is. It's anchored to that position on my dashboard. Or you could uh, anchor it to your screen so it'll always stay in the same position regardless of where you move your head. It'll just be there in your vision. Or you can actually anchor it to your controller. So the controllers aren't actually rendered in Elite Dangerous, but it does work. And if you're in a game where the controller is rendered, you'll see this video on top of the controller. So multiple options you can use, uh, multiple different ways to use it. You don't actually just have to watch um, VLC or watch a movie or anything. There's a lot of useful things you can do with this. And um, yeah, it's really simple. So just go to the GitHub link that I'm going to put in the description, download the zip file, unzip it, run the .exe file, and then open the window. So let me show you my VLC window right now. As you can see it's really small. You don't want to be running it full screen like that because then it's gonna lag. Th this thing has to run at 30 FPS and it's gonna look fine if you keep the window really small. Also if you do want to do VLC make sure that you select view minimal interface or else it will look like this or press Control H to get the minimal interface. That way you don't get a border around your video. So if you want to adjust this while you're in VR, it's kind of tough because the only way you can see it is on your desktop at least is by using the VR mirror window. If you go to the actual preview window, you're not going to see this. But if you go to the mirror window, you can't see it. Of course, you don't experience like a sense of depth in the VR preview window. so. One of the ways I adjust it is I just kind of peek in and out of the headset. I will peek out of the headset, uh, put my mouse right over one of the uh, sliders, and then put the headset back on, and then move the slider around. So as you can see, you can adjust the X position, the Y position, the Z position, and then you can rotate it along all those axes as well. So you can pretty much set it up anywhere you want it. Uh, display it any way you want it, anchored or following your vision or on your controller. And you can do pretty much any window on your computer. So it's an awesome program, really, because there's tons of uses for it. And it works on the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift. Although I have only done it on the HTC Vive, and if you look at the Reddit post that I'm going to put in the description, there are some caveats about the Oculus Rift. Some games will not support this. But on the HTC Vive, every single VR game will support this. And one final tip for this is the sharpness of the image is going to be affected by your Steam VR super sampling settings. And I imagine the super sampling settings for the Rift as well. So I'm running at 2.0 super sampling right now, and it looks really sharp. Like if I turn on the subtitles, I can read them even though it's actually a fairly small file. I mean a fairly small window and it's usually pretty tough to read uh, small text in VR 
With 2.0 super sampling, you can read the subtitles, and this is not a very high quality uh, video file either, so it actually looks pretty good, all things considered. And just as one final tip for those of you who will be using this in Elite Dangerous, you're going to have a hard time running Elite Dangerous at 2.0 super sampling in the Steam VR settings, but if you go into the Elite Dangerous video settings within the game, here, I'll do it right now. Uh, let me adjust my headset. Okay, so you go into the video settings within the game and go to, I believe it's display, no. Okay, open up the quality menu and set the in-game super sampling here to the very lowest value, which is X0.65. So that's going to make your game look really crappy until you set 2.0 uh, Steam VR super sampling, and then your game is going to look really great and it's going to run r really well, and everything else in Steam VR is going to look great, including this overlay window. So, I hope some of you found this useful. I personally think it's a great addition to VR, and once again, I just want to give props to um, Hotrian, the guy who made this program, and he's been putting out a ton of updates. Uh, when I was researching this, I actually noticed he's put out two updates since I downloaded this, which was just a couple days ago. So um, major props to him. Go check out his Reddit post and let me know if you have any issues with this. I'll try to do some troubleshooting in the comments. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and goodbye. You want to open the steamvr.vr settings file in Notepad. So you're going to see a bunch of values in here. You don't want to touch any of them. You want to go down to the section that says Steam VR, and then you're going to add this value that says Render Target Multiplier, and then it has a number. Uh, the number represents uh, the multiplier for the super sampling, how it's going to multiply your, your resolution.